and welcome uh, everyone. Uh, we are in the first uh, webinar of E News Next, uh, where we are about to discuss uh, how the dynamics of uh, newsrooms across the country are changing. So, as we are switched on and logged on to television news almost round the clock, especially at this time, we have reporters out in the field uh, who are covering stories from the field and working as tirelessly as uh, any health worker or a police person. So, um, we have very senior journalists with us who are running newsrooms. Uh, I'll just quickly welcome our guests. We have uh, Rajini Shahuja, who's the senior vice president, news and programming at ABP News. And we have uh, senior journalist and former executive editor, uh, Bhupen Chaube of uh, CNN News 18. Uh, Bhupen is uh, currently doing his own shows from hashtag uh, talk to Bhupen. Uh, before throwing in the questions to our guests, I quickly uh, want to mention to all our guests that you can tweet about this uh, webinar as you log in and listen to us at uh, hashtag E4M webinar. And you can also ask questions which we will take over to our guests. So uh, welcome Rajneesh, uh, welcome uh, Bhupen. Uh, Thank it you. It would be great if you could start about uh, your experiences of uh, working from home or working during uh, times of uh, this uh, pandemic if you can well, start uh, i yeah sure i i uh, thanks very much for for doing this uh, and let me first explain to you where i am just in case if sure. and you must be wondering that where is all this lovely sound and all this coming from so i have uh, taken what i think is the best step that i've taken in a long time and this is where i am so wow. I'm bang in the middle of uh, some lovely view, <laughs> and just to make Rajinishi feel slightly jealous of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so uh, I'm I'm in Uttarakhand. I'm in Uttarakhand right now, and uh, and I must share my own personal story with you. Uh, this is this is the first time since I left at for eighteen that that we're doing. Uh, and you know, a lot of people have been asking me on social media as to why did I take this decision suddenly and what caught with me. Truth is, this was uh, it was partially sudden, but it was not so sudden as well. And I say it was not so sudden because it had been on my mind for a while that uh, that I thought conventional media and, and conventional news media, the, whether it's a business model, whether it's a conventional approach, all that was was being tested, you know, uh, and was being challenged. In, uh, in various forms and I really wanted to branch out and I wanted to do something on my own. Uh, I wanted to do a book as well and it's just that the, rig the rigor of, uh, of any television just doesn't leave any scope frankly for any kind of experimentation. Um, I actually came to this place on the 16th of March and then after doing some broadcasting I was, I was uh, doing my program Viewpoint from here only for the first 10 to 12 days. Uh, and then, well, because I was still there, I had to go back since, uh, since you know, I couldn't have afforded to, I couldn't have been here, I have my place here, but I couldn't have managed to do broadcasting, say, in the month of March, in perpetuity, by being here itself. So I had to go back to Delhi. But in that one week that I, that I stayed back in Delhi, I got absolutely convinced that media, the way we have seen so far and the way we have consumed it so far, I think is in for a massive change, for a tectonic change. Uh, this this entire uh, scenario that was built of 10 windows and 20 windows, you know, everybody had to go with each other, and well, all of us were part of it. I think that model has run its course, uh, and and the kind of the kind of feedback that I have started to get now for this program, talk to Bhupen that I do, which I do like this, like we're doing this on Zoom, and we simulcast this across all digital platforms on YouTube, on LinkedIn, on Periscope, on Instagram. On, 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 on Facebook Live, on Twitter. It is exposing me to a kind of world and a kind of universe which I never knew existed. Uh, I've spent my whole life in English television and Rajni, she comes from the world of Hindi television, but I've kind of dabbled between both for a while. And while the audience sizes on both sides are, are vastly different, I think the challenges before both these languages and before both these platforms are pretty identical in nature. I think the, the, the era of, of doing TV news, the way we used to think it would be done, which would be largely studio centric, where you would send your OB vans, where you'd send your live view units. I think all that is changing completely. If we can do this program sitting right here where I'm on my mobile phone and you're at your residence and the DG is as at his location, I mean, is this the new normal? 
is this a new norm which we must accept i think the first steps post covid have certainly been taken that this is the new normal world that we must accept and then try and adapt ourselves in terms of what are the changes we wish to bring in our day to day life newsrooms across the country today are working at 50% of the capacity if 50% of the capacity can still deliver a product i don't see any reason why this should not become the new norm so uh, going over to rajnish uh, bhupen clearly has a background and a setting uh, to do stories which is worth envy uh, so we uh, go over to rajnish and uh, you are in the newsroom and i'm told that you're doing the live also from the newsroom uh, rajesh if you can fill us a little in about uh, how different is the newsroom uh, in terms of functioning in terms of how people uh, are attending office every day how different is it compared to pre covid times rajesh you mute rajesh has muted himself rajesh you need to unmute yourself ah huh. sorry uh we have been in the newsroom since the beginning of this crisis uh, we have not left the newsroom although we had challenges of the staff and uh, we are short of not 50% but 25% staff we are they are working from home because of some reason or the other some but we have been working around 75% strength we from the beginning itself we decided not to bring in our reporters back into the newsroom reporters and cameraman were told to work from outside from their home and travel outside we reduced the reporter strength we told reporters to work for 3 days one batch 3 days other batch right uh, we gave software to uh, our newsroom software to people who were working from home so that they can fire they do the stories from their home and from the very beginning we decided not to bring in the guest into the studio absolutely we had stopped at as bupen was saying that this is the new beginning of the newsroom of the media we the guests are actually the big guests are quite easily available true and they are we don't have to send anywhere anything people right. are ready to do it on facetime people are ready to do it on absolutely. skype so you call them they are available absolutely so the best best thing for tv journalism is that you get a big guest people you never think of coming on television are coming on television yes so we we had such big guest and people from us lot of doctors have joined us from us mm-hmm. and who are available even if when they are it's a night time in us they are still available because they think that india needs to know what is happening with vaccine any information so mm-hmm. people who have joined us from even china so oh. so we have done lot of things absolutely but our newsroom is still buzzing right and and we have taken precautions the people like there are few colleagues of mine who have on society had some positive cases they we told them to stay home for at least 3 to 14 days those every day this is a challenge absolutely so but this challenge has made us very good we have like bupen was saying that we are working with 75% strength absolutely so it has been a great experience a new right. uh, we are doing journalism with my... a different uh, Thanks. Uh before I go to my next question I'll just quickly mention that we are uh, live on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube so anybody who's tuned in you can tweet us at uh, #e4mwebinar or you can throw in your questions to any of our guests. Uh so the next question is to uh, each one of you since both of you are at very different work settings that you know for newspapers and digital setups uh, you know work from mode uh, transition has happened almost seamlessly. but for tv it is a different ball game altogether so uh, rajnish first i'll go over to you as to how is tv uh, coping up with this staggered workforce you already meant covered quite a lot of it in the first answer yeah. and uh, bupen if you can tell us you know how is this whole work from home experience you know how different is it from your studio experience so i'll go over to rajnish first <laughs> Uh, did i miss anything uh, uh, i just asked a question about uh, 
this transition from uh, you know being uh, on the field and in office to uh, work from home it's easy for digital and uh, newspapers to a certain extent but tv is quite different so tv how, how tv like tv i just, just like i told you earlier also that right. for a production people for producers they have to be in office so right but for the input and the report reporting staff as i told you we we had already told them that you work on 50% strength they have to work for long hours we made it 12 hour shift where both reporters and cameraman we made a one team so that every day there is no no change we gave the camera kits everything to the home mm -hmm. three days one 11 uh, set of people work three days another set of people work so that thing was made possible from the beginning itself absolutely so also this also we ma made sure that our newsroom is sanitized properly every day people coming in were provided all the kits and everything we provided kits to our reporters so that they have the proper kits to wear them on the field so this is the changes we have done sure uh, Bhupin, if you can fill us in a little bit about, you know, how different is it uh, to work from home than the studio, apart from the chirping birds and the beautiful uh, weather out there. Uh, what's the difference uh, when you do your videos, when you reach out to your uh, listeners? Uh, what's the difference between pre-COVID times and now? You know, that's why I think that uh, we, must, we must take the bull by its horns. And let me state this absolutely clearly that uh, where we are today in terms of what we what we are really managing to achieve as professionals uh, I, I think is something that needs to be firstly understood for one's own self sure uh, when you say when you say that you know that well you need to what is the what is the difference uh, in in my work approach first things first you know you have to realize that what's the philosophical bent of mind that you have adopted for your own self Sure. Uh, from you know, from being on a treadmill, which newsrooms ultimately end up becoming, I think this Corona pandemic is making a lot of people in our profession just sit back and take notice. That what is it that uh, that we were doing so far? What is the kind of effort that we've been putting in? And I, am I really enjoying what I'm doing? I mean, at the end of the day, you know, if you don't enjoy what you're doing, then it's not worth it. So I, I, I think that as far as I'm concerned, I certainly I certainly took that decision uh, that I needed to do something which I was enjoying most. Uh, and and I just, just look at what Rajinish is telling you today. And I, I believe that at this stage, while this is being done out of compulsion, imagine if you were to be in a scenario where you don't require OB vans. If you don't require OB vans, you don't require OB engineers, you don't require cameramen. Today, using Mojo Kids, and I myself am a great believer and exponent. I covered the entire Howdy Modi trip of uh, the Prime Minister when he went to America with a simple mobile phone and a, and a, and a, and a Wi-Fi. I think these are the new age realities will, which, which uh, modern day newsrooms will have to adopt. I think those days of, um, of, uh, of, uh, of an anchor going into the field with, say, with four or five camera setups and you know, all that, I think, I think is really. I, I would really, I would really struggle to believe that those days are going to come back. I don't. For some time, those days are going to come back. Uh, technology will only increase. Technology will only increase. You know, like like look at the virtual background which Rajiji has. If you want on a simple click, you know, you can get yourself a better background. And yeah. I'm sure that there will be better vendors who will come. So people will in 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 half an hour's time from now, uh, the biggest educated minds in this country are going to be in a conversation with me on talk to Bhupen. And, and we're going to look at how, how the education world is going to completely move from an offline to an online model. I think television channels, that gap which used to exist between this is my virtual stream or my digital stream and this is my TV feed, I think that gap very soon, that's why it is going to be a thing of the past. I think that there is now just going to be two screens and you will end up supplying feed which will be agnostic of the screen that you are really consuming on. Like this broadcast right now, I may be on my mobile phone. The similar sure. broadcast with similar quality could actually be taking place on TV as well. I think to my mind, that is the biggest change which newsrooms are now going to adapt to. Right. But, uh, but the, good, the good thing about it is that even our digital has done really well. Absolutely. When the TV is doing well, people are watching us on digital in a big way. Our digital numbers have really gone up. I'll, I'll tell you the, the Prime Minister's 14th April speech, 
there was 16 lakh views on YouTube on our channel, which right. is a record. It has never happened. So people are consuming wherever they are in whatever form, whether it's TV, whether it's mobile phone, but it is actually the news channels which are providing the digital platform also. True, true. Uh, you know, picking up from uh, just that, we have uh, some uh, one of our team members uh, who's saying that uh, uh, yesterday from a popular channel, uh, an anchor couldn't uh, reach the studio on time or start a show on time because he had uh, a police interrogation to attend. So meanwhile, some uh, you know junior colleagues uh, managed the show uh, while he uh, wasn't around. So, uh, Rajneesh, I'll ask you that you know is this also a time when you know a lot of other talents are coming to the forefront? There are journalists who are doing videos from where they are, and you know. Uh, shooting small uh, stories and uploading it themselves. There's a lot of uh, work that people are doing that they haven't done before. So what's your take on that, Rajneesh? Yeah, a lot of my colleagues, a lot of my colleagues are doing uh, explainers for digital sitting at home, which they never used to get time earlier. Because, Absolutely. Uh, since we have divided our reporters into two groups, so people who are sitting at home, whatever they, they are writing for digital, they are writing uh, making video explainers for digital plus they're doing the things live from home only true a lot, lot of reporters who are even at off day like three days off we are giving them but mm -hmm. whenever they get a story we are doing live from them from their right. home so they may be at home but they are on the job they may not be going on the field but as the information is coming to them they are feeding it to us so mm -hmm. Actually, it is the information which is coming, which way it comes, that's not the issue right now. Absolutely. I think, that's why, that I think, that's, yeah, I think what will happen, and, and Rajdish was briefly alluding to that. See, all TV channels in, in this time when you're going to lock down, everybody's consuming news on any device that you can get pulled off. Mm -hmm. But I think that what is really happening, and that's the attempt that I'm, I'm trying to make, which is that instead of, of creating content, specifically for TV screen uh, and therefore use similar production styles and simply put that content on a mobile screen. I think you could well have a scenario where you may just end up completely reversing that cycle because sure. it may be far more effective for you to produce content on a for a mobile screen. And if you can succeed in that using technology, then all you have to do is to put that same content which you're producing for a mobile device, you have to put that content on a TV device. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, uh, and, and, and I think that is where the biggest opportunity, I think, for, for any media house, right, or any working professional really exists. If you get the technology right, and if you can create an environment where you produce for mobile devices, and you simply put that feed on a TV channel, on a TV screen, I should say, that I think will be, will be the real game changer, so to say, in our industry. True, true. Uh, so next, what we would like to touch upon is, you know, the concept of uh, infotainment also coming uh, into news. We are seeing a lot of news channels, uh, a lot of journalists, uh, you know, going live with singers, going live with artists so that, you know, there's a little bit of uh, cheering up uh, for the viewers who are always listening to this grim news on uh, death tolls and COVID spreading from one state, one city to the other. So, uh, is infotainment a trend that is here to stay or is it going to stop uh, post the lockdown uh, rules are relaxed? What I why, can I point out? I, can you see my friend Sumit Avasti? You know, Sumit is also there. Yes, he has, he's see? also live. Well, I can see him. Hi, Bupin. I'm really oh, jealous okay. of you now. Hi, hi. I just... You are the only person yeah, who is doing the like, lockdown. <laughs> I am boss, I am. <laughs> Unabashedly, unashamedly, I am enjoying it. No problem at all. Hi, Tasmi. I'm sorry. Hi. hi, hi. Thank you so much for joining us. Infotainment, yes, it's going to stay. Data analysis is, yes, it's going to stay. Right. Ye naya naya swad laga hai, darshko ko. Aur ye abhi rahega. Agar mein shudh deshi bhasha mein bolu, Public को मजा आ रहा है data देखने में public को data analysis देखने में मजा आ रहा है क्योंकि अभी तक जितने feedbacks आए हैं जितने reviews आ रहे हैं they are very positive they want to see the numbers and right. जो आपने कहा ना कि infotainment music web, con, con, music concerts हो रहे हैं web पे और फलान ये सब चीजें चल रही हैं ये हमारे लिए real challenge है 
हम जो न्यूज एंकर अपने आप को उस कैटेगरी में बांध लेते हैं कि हम शो स्टॉपर्स हैं और हम सब कुछ चलता है ऐसा कुछ नहीं है अब जैसे भूपेंद्र कह रहे थे मेरे दोस्त की जैसे इंडस्ट्री में हर कोई इस वक्त मोबाइल पे है हर कोई कनेक्टेड है और हर कोई कंट्रीब्यूट कर रहा है अपने अपने तरीके से वही तरीका जो पब्लिक को पसंद आएगा वो एक्सेप्ट हो जाएगा जो नहीं पसंद आएगा वो हाथों हाथ रिजेक्ट हो जाएगा दैट्स गोइंग टू बी द फ्यूचर नाउ आपको इंतजार नहीं करना है किसी चीज का इमीडिएटली एक्सेप्टेंस होगा इमीडिएटली रिजेक्शन होगा बट वन थिंग आई शुड पॉइंट आउट हियर इज दैट पीपल आर नॉट वाचिंग एंटरटेनमेंट ऑन न्यूज़ टीवी एब्सोल्युटली सो पीपल जस्ट वांट टू कम फॉर इंफॉर्मेशन इंफोटेनमेंट नो एंटरटेनमेंट राइट राइट uh somebody from our audience is uh, throwing us a question that you know is um, uh, consumption pattern also changing you know uh, from the uh, we have no fresh content on gc channels uh, it's only news that is providing fresh uh, up to date uh, contents all the uh, content all the time so you know is consumption pattern also likely to change and is it going to change from now on yeah i mean if you're asking me i i i do believe i do believe that uh, consumption patterns what people want to see uh what i i i'll tell you in a nutshell where i think and this is only again on the basis of uh, the feedback which i'm getting for a very limited experiment that i have uh, started to do with dr bupen uh even i mean imagine it's not a website it's just a hashtag Sure. Uh, it's a youtube platform uh, uh, it's a, it's a zoom platform which then gets broadcast across all these platforms but i've got all big names whether it's uh, whether it's you know top politicians or it's top corporate voices or top uh, you know people guests i mean you know people may want to talk to me because now brand equity but i think that what is happening is that there was a certain cycle of news television which got accepted post the mumbai terror strikes in 2008 mm-hmm. I think in these last 12 years, what is happening is that that cycle of a particular brand of television, I think it could well have run out of steam. You know, you were talking about what is going on with uh, in the case of uh, in the case of Republic TV. I mean, I mean, I'm not aware of the facts exactly, but uh, but on 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 the face of it, I and I did tweet about it as well that at a time when the country is facing the biggest story of our time. you know for the media to obfuscate about what one anchor said or didn't say and for that particular anchor you know to use all kinds of well statements to uh, to to show up his own standing i think is bizarre uh, i i would like to know that what is the impact of this lockdown on people i would like to know i ask, i ask a simple question you know if i had 100 rupees in my bank and if say three months back the value of my 100 rupees was 6% interest 7% interest other than 7 rupees i would just like to know what is the value of my 100 rupees today now instead of giving me an answer to these kind of questions if you keep taking me into trivialities then then i am not sure you know how i'm benefiting and i'm very happy to note that just a short while back i realized and maybe rajneesh ji would also be aware of this that there are now demands being made that we should completely change the path structure the manner in which trp ratings have been you know have been accumulated so far i think if this corona business if it ends up pushing putting pressure on all industry stakeholders to work out some new metric i think it will be the most positive impact frankly of this corona lockdown yeah the tri has just issued a paper saying Absolutely. that uh, how, how the rating should be done and how the structure should be changed no, but i am saying that in coming months economy will be a big story because it will affect everybody is everybody pocket is going to get affected so what you were saying will it stay for a longer yes it is going to stay for longer so at least an year and a half i think the economy coming months will be economic story once we are out of this 3 4 months i don't know how much time but economy will be the big story which never happened in so many years so right. how the government will handle the economy issues unemployment lot of issues will come up in next few months that that people are worried about right now and news channels will have a greater role to play in that to Absolutely. tell people what is happening mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Right. Uh, so picking up from uh, that, uh, Rajneesh, if you can just uh, brief us a little bit about uh, the kind of uh, content you're planning uh, for the days ahead and then, then we'll go over to Bhupen and also ask him what are the kind of stories we're going to see from him. So if you can uh, brief us Like I told you, we, we are planning shows related to people, how people are going to, whether there will be reverse migration happening or not happening. Right. People who have gone back to their states, whether they'll be coming back or not. Will there be a problem for the labor in North India because of Hindi channel? Whether the factories will come back? One of the CEOs of a big company told me uh, that once I start production again, I am not aware whether the people who are coming into the factory, are they medically checked, COVID certificate? Will my assembly line get affected? If one of them is found positive, it will affect my entire factory. So right. these kinds of stories, economic stories, which are related to people on the ground will be our main focus in coming months. Right, right, right. Uh, we did an interview with the uh, uh, earlier vice chairman of uh, Niti Ayo. Uh, right. He said to us that India has the best opportunity to go ahead. What, last 20 years were for China, next 20 years for China, India. So, it's a now if India does well, how the government does on economic front, that story will be unfolded in next few months. Right, right. How how the elections are going to be held, how the whether the rallies will happen yes. or not happen. Bihar is the election going state yes. this year. Yes. That will be also a big story. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Sumit, would you want to add something from straight from the newsroom about? Uh, your plans uh, for coverage and what are the uh, interesting stories that the uh, viewers are going to see in the coming days? Uh, that's my me and Rajni share the same newsroom. Rajni has of course, just, I, I just, has just opened, up a, a, opened, opened up our cards. What are, what are we going to plan for the next uh, six months or eight months? But no doubt, yes, that's the focus. Economics, economics and economics. People-centric economics. Nokria hongi ki nahi hongi. Kitni zada subsidiary problem ane wali hai. Jesse COVID case and niklenge ki kya admi ke pass do junki roti hai ya nahi hai. Do vakti roti hai ki nahi hai. Kitna bada mass migration hua hai. Sari ki sari economico, sari ki sari sphere could disturb karnevala atmosphere hoga hai. Jo gao se lo bak shero me ate gao me nokria katam hoga hai. Wapas gao lo gai. To gao me kya karenge wolo. ये सब स्मॉल टाउन स्टोरीज हैं टिपिकल हिंदी चैनल की स्टोरीज हैं और हम लोगों के लिए सबसे अधिक पूरा प्लान पूरा फोकस वही है और जैसा कि रणजीत ने अभी बिहार इलेक्शन की बात की मैं भी उसको अंडरलाइन करना चाहूंगा ये पहली बार होगा कि हो सकता है कि कोई स्टेट का कैंपेन भूपेन करेक्ट मी इफ आई एम रॉन्ग कि कोई कैंपेन जो होगा वो ई कैंपेन होगा इस बार तेजस्वी और चिराग पासवान जो है जो 21वीं सदी के लड़के हैं वो अब ई कैंपेन में ज्यादा भरोसा करेंगे या वाकई में मास रैली होंगी पब्लिक रैलीज होंगी इसीलिए इसीलिए सुमित मैं कहता हूं इसीलिए मैं कहता हूं कि जो हम आज जो देख रहे हैं और ये जो मोबाइल स्क्रीन में जो हम सब बंद गए हैं मुझे लगता है कि आने वाला समय इसी मोबाइल स्क्रीन और इंटरनेट के जरिए ही और ज्यादा निर्धारित होने वाला है हम लोग वैसे ही देख रहे हैं कि पिछले कई सालों में जो ऑनलाइन स्पेंडिंग हो रही है पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज द्वारा अपने सोशल मीडिया कैंपेन्स को लेके इंटरनेट कैंपेन्स को लेके व्हाट्सएप कैंपेन्स को लेके ज्यादा पैसा लोग उस तरफ खर्चा करते हैं मुझे लगता है अगर हमें कोविड के साथ रहना है और ये स्पष्ट है कि अब हमें उसके साथ रहना है इसका बहुत बड़ा इम्पैक्ट हमारे देश में किस तरीके से चुनाव हो रहे हैं किस तरीके से चुनाव प्रचार होता है बहुत बड़ा इम्पैक्ट पड़ेगा अब अगर जैसे मान लीजिए हम लोग पहले खबर चलाते थे कि फलाने नेता का हेलीकॉप्टर उसको नहीं उतरने की परमिशन दे दी किसी डीएम ने तो वो आप ब्रेकिंग न्यूज चलाते थे और वो कहते थे वही उस टाइम पॉलिटिक्स हो रही है अब आप सोचिए आपको हो सकता है उसकी जरूरत ही ना पड़े मैं कल एक एक, एक वरिष्ठ सरकार में एक वरिष्ठ व्यक्ति से मैं बात कर रहा था तो उन्होंने बताया कि साहब आप अगर प्रदेश के बारह मुख्यमंत्रियों को आप पहले बुलाते थे तो बारह मुख्यमंत्रियों को यहाँ आना और फिर विज्ञान भवन में या कहीं आना वो एक इंडस्ट्री थी अपने आप में चूंकि वो आते थे हवाई जहाज खर्चा पैरफिनेलिया ब्यूरोक्रेसी एक 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 कोई मुख्यमंत्री आता था तो उसके साथ उसकी पूरी सरकार आती थी अब आज की डेट में आपको वैसे कुछ भी करने की जरूरत नहीं है सारा काम वीडियो कॉल पे हो रहा है आप कांग्रेस पार्टी को देखिए कांग्रेस में भी जो मीटिंग्स हो रही है सारे बड़े नेताओं की 
वो सब लोग सरकार चल रही है प्राइम मिनिस्टर सारे सीएम से मिल रहे हैं चार बार मिल चुके हैं वीडियो कॉल पे <laughs> तो आप सोचिए तो आप सोचिए कि जब वीडियो कॉल पे ही सरकार चल जा रही है तो जाहिर तौर पे उसका असर चुनावी प्रक्रिया पर राजनीतिक तंत्र पर पड़ना तो बड़ा बहुत ही स्वाभाविक और बहुत मैं तो ये देख रहा हूँ कि क्या हम तैयार हैं इतने बड़े बदलाव को एक्सेप्ट करने के लिए क्या हम समझ भी पा रहे हैं कि बदलाव किस दिन कितना बड़ा होगा मतलब चूंकि हम लोग भी ये किसी ने इस, 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 इस दुविधा से कोई पहले निपटा नहीं था और हम सब लोग उस दुविधा में एक साथ हम लोग उससे जूझ रहे हैं मुझे लगता है एवरी डे इज न्यू लर्निंग बिकॉज एवरी डे वी सीइंग दी न्यू चैलेंज व्हिच यू नो व्हिच टेक्नोलॉजी कैन ब्रिंग टू यू अब जैसे आप कह रहे हैं सुमित कि भाई आप लोग हिंदी चैनल से हैं आपके लिए बड़ा मास है बड़ा ऑडियंस है कि जो नॉर्थ इंडिया हिंदी हार्टलैंड में उधर माइग्रेंट लेबर जो है वो किस प्रकार से इन सब परेशानियों से पड़ता है अब कल को अगर जब आप रिपोर्टर भेजेंगे शायद आप कैमरा में ना भेजे साथ में शायद आप कहें ये लोग मोजो क्रिट और ये लोग इंटरनेट डोंगल आप जाइए आप पूरा गाँव देश घूमिए पूरे महीने भर की आप स्टोरीज निकाल लिया वो आप सोचियो कितना बड़ा तब्दीली होगी वो कि रिपोर्टर किसी के भी घर पे बैठ गया क्या कर रहे हैं लोग क्या बात कर रहे हैं आविष्कार आविष्कार है आविष्कार की है सही बात है आविष्कार की जननी है और वो हो रहा है बीते 40 दिनों से पांच हफ्तों से रजनीश हम लोग एक साथ न्यूज रूम में बड़े बड़े इंटरव्यूज किए हैं जिसके इंटरव्यूज करने के लिए हमको बहुत समय नहीं मिलता था वक्त नहीं मिलता था अब उन नेताओं के पास भी टाइम है वो इजिली स्काइप पे मिल जा रहे हैं सारे सीएम इजिली अवेलेबल है जो इसके लिए पूरा इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर भेजना पड़ता था वो एक कॉल करो स्काइप पे बैठते हैं आके बड़े बड़े इंटरव्यूज देते हैं और हेडलाइंस बहुत कम खर्चे पे बहुत बड़ी हेडलाइंस मिल रही हैं। अगर ये टीवी चैनल के साथ हो रहा है भूपेन तो ये चुनाव जब आएंगे तो जाहिर तौर पर खर्चा बचेगा ये डिजिटल इंडिया की शुरुआत है और ये जो आवश्यकता है ये बहुत बड़ा आविष्कार हमको देखे जा रही है डिजिटल मीडियम के जरिए Uh, we have uh, so many questions coming in from the audience. So there is Pratyush Ranjan from Jagran News Media who is asking that uh, entertainment has shifted from TV to mobile. Do you think the same has already been done for hyper local news content as well? Uh, any of you can take the question. अच्छा मैं बोलूं अब अगर आप आप ये पूछ रही हैं कि इस हाइपर लोकल न्यूज कंजम्पशन हैपनिंग ऑन मोबाइल डिवाइसेस उसमें कोई शक नहीं है आप आप मैं आपको किस्सा बताता हूं मैं हरियाणा के चुनाव के दौरान विजेंद्र हुडा के साथ मिल रहा था और ऐसी उनसे चर्चा हो रही थी उनसे गपचप हुई थी कैमरा प्रदेश में नहीं हो रहा है तो उन्होंने मुझे कहा उन्होंने कहा ये आप लोगों को लगता है कि आप एक बहुत बड़े चैनल के बहुत बड़े एडिटर हैं एंकर हैं तो सारा इन्फ्लुएंस आपके पास है कहता है ऐसा है नहीं भाई साहब क्या है कि आजकल जो गाँव देश में जो यूट्यूबर्स है यूट्यूबर्स का इन्फ्लुएंस ज्यादा है मैं मैं प्रधानमंत्री कार्यालय में किसी से बात कर रहा था तो पूरी एक लिस्ट है एक पूरी लिस्ट है कि इस देश में सबसे बड़े 25-30 वो YouTube वो कौन लोग हैं और जो YouTube इन्फ्लुएंसर हैं वो सुमित जी से और हमसे शायद अपने रिस्ट्रिक्टेड कम्युनिटी में वो लोग शायद ज्यादा इन्फ्लुएंस सकते हैं हम लोगों से तो अब आने वाले समय में हो सकता है इन लोगों की संख्या बढ़े हो सकता है कि हम लोग जिस प्रकार से जो स्टूडियो में जो सुमित है जो डेटा की जो बात कही वो डेटा क्या है वो पब्लिकली एक्सेप्टेबल भी होना चाहिए डेटा वो क्योंकि जनता को ये लगता है एक तो देखिए एक टीवी का स्टाइल है कि मुठभेड़ होना है कि एकदम दो विपक्षी गुट हैं और उन दोनों की आप लड़ाई करा दीजिए मुझे लगता है वो जो लड़ाई का कॉन्सेप्ट था मे बी दैट इज नाउ सब्जेक्ट टू लॉ इनिशियल रिटर्न आई थिंक इट मे वेरी वेल टू मोर फोकस एंड मोर प्रेशर ऑन कॉन्टेंट क्रिएटर्स किस प्रकार से आप ऐसा कॉन्टेंट क्रिएट करें जिससे जनता के बीच पब्लिक डिस्कोर्स जो है वो डेटा के ऊपर आधारित हो क्योंकि जब वो डेटा के ऊपर आधारित होगा अगर आप ई कैंपेनिंग करेंगे आप सोचिए अगर आप ई कैंपेनिंग करेंगे तो ई कैंपेनिंग में फिर आप ये आपसे भी गाली गलौच की राजनीति से नहीं चल सकता फिर आपको बताना पड़ेगा डेटा पॉइंट में कि साहब मैंने पांच साल में मैंने इतना किया या मैं अगले पांच साल में करूंगा और फिर उसका असर मेरे ऊपर क्या पड़ता है मैं उसका क्या फैक्ट चेक करता हूँ एज सिटीजन एज वोटर ये उसके ऊपर पड़ता है तो फैक्ट चेकिंग और डेटा इंटरप्रिटेशन मुझे लगता है ये दोनों तो बहुत बड़े बहुत बड़ी तादाद में और बहुत बड़ी मात्रा में ये एक्सप्लोर करने वाली है दोनों चीज राइट um somebody else uh, from our audience is also asking about uh, what do you all think about uh, ooh business uh, how will it take off from here it is a question from lk nagaraj any of you can take the question it is slightly off our topic but uh, yeah. nagaraj wants to know about it
Uh, we have no idea actually whether this <laughs> business will survive or not. We are the wrong right. people. <laughs> right. Um, I will. I will take your leave. That's my. I'll take okay. your leave because you know I, I had uh, another engagement. I will talk to the Rajesh. Rest stay safe, friends. Don't look back. Thanks so much for joining us. Hopefully, Thank hopefully you. we will meet. Hopefully we will meet in physical world again. Hopefully. Sure, sure. Thank bye. you so much for joining us. Bye, bye, bye. bye. Uh, we. Yes, that's me. Uh, yes, so um, I was about to ask about you know uh, viewerships now, which is very important uh, part of the news business. You know uh, all the bark numbers that we have been seeing; it's unprecedented growth for news, right? So, uh, just trying to understand that you know, is this kind of spike or growth in viewership is this sustainable? Or if sustainable is, then how will consistency be maintained? What's the plan to keep the numbers consistent? I think Rajneesh is the right person to answer. Right. Because it it may not stay for that long, but right now people are sitting at home and consuming a lot of te- news television. But mm-hmm. when people start working, go out again, becomes a normal life, it may not be sustainable. Right. But people will continue to consume news at a much higher level. That is not going to go away for at least one and a half year. Absolutely. So, even i am telling you the entertainment channels will not have the new shows or anything coming next three months true the way the bombay thing is happening i don't think entertainment channel will be there or even movies people may not be going to cinema halls to watch a movie for a longish time so whether people will will continue to consume news in a bigger way mm-hmm. that is true whether they watch it on mobile or on news television the viewership is going to stay for higher as compared to earlier times true uh we have more questions web of shah is trying to understand that is the credibility of uh, news going to change during this difficult time i think credibility I, I, has increased in in these difficult times people are the viewers the people are only trusting news only because mm-hmm. the right number the right data is available only on uh, tv or digital platforms right newspapers viewership has gone down we know this because of various reasons tv digital internet is the only platform where all the right and the correct news numbers are flashing 24 hours am i right rajnish yeah completely and the, it is also the credibility of the news group which is bringing in the numbers people right. trust the channels that is why the, those channels are getting the numbers so even bark has to look at it Absolutely. that the credible channels are only getting the numbers right the viewership um, Yes, sorry. please go. On. Sorry. No, yes. no, no. I am saying the viewership is coming to those channels which have credibility. Which right. don't have credibility, they are not getting the numbers. And right. by creating drama, you can get numbers for a while. Absolutely. But ultimately, people go with the credible channels only. Right. Uh, we have another question from uh, Srinath Sakshi who is asking that viewership has also increased on digital. Uh, do you think Bark will consider this? that's the question from shrinath sakshi i have been told that from july onwards that is up to bark's confirmation that they will be merging the digital and the tv viewership together and they'll be providing it jointly the viewership patterns right bark right. is working towards it right right um so okay as we come towards the close of uh, this uh, interesting uh, panel uh, you know we have few more questions coming in uh, archana mukherji asked that how do you suggest that people recognize uh, fake news we have been doing on a daily basis a show sachai ka sensex every day at 8:13 on our morning breakfast show namaste bharat where we tell every day that what is fake what is not it's right. a regular we have been doing this earlier we were doing viral search we were the first pioneering this thing that 
about fake news what is right what is wrong and we have been doing it for last almost 4 5 years the viral videos which are fake we we verify them our team verifies and we tell every morning at 8 30 people must watch it on namaste bharat sachai ka sensei right uh, we have an elaborate question from sneha valke she is asking in a comforting move for the journalistic community in orissa the navin patnaik government has announced a 15 lakhs um, ex gratia for any working journalist who succumbs to covid 19 Many journalists have put un, been put under quarantine after they were diagnosed uh, with the disease. The numbers are increasing. Are journalistic bodies or federations doing something similar to their peers? Is there enough pressure on the government for special health insurance schemes, etc., for media first responders during their daily jobs risking their lives? That's a long question if you would like to take it, Rajneesh. Every media organization or different media uh, journalist associations have been doing what is there possible for them. So we, uh, we are in a business where government can't, doesn't help too much about it. Sta different right. state governments are doing something or that. But as a media organization, all media organizations are trying their best to help out people who have become positive, our organization or other organization are taking all precautions to do that. Right. There is another question from Devomita Dev who is asking that our newsrooms finally looking into engaging educators to help module up online subject classes for students, especially those who are in the rural sector. Um, our, our channel, uh, Bengali channel, ABP Ananda, they are doing the state government has given one hour program every day right. on TV take, where we have different su subjects being taught about to various children from of various classes on a daily basis. It's a right. tie up between the state government and our channel there, ABP Ananda, on the same. Right. Awesome. Uh, there is one more question coming from your ABP Ananda audience, perhaps. Uh, Deepshika Ghosh is asking, thanks to mobile phones, people are not only relying on news channels and newspapers for information, a lot of content is consumed via videos and write-ups posted and shared on social media. This has particularly risen during this uh, COVID phase and that has even led to a number of major controversies. However, people are using the news to verify whether information uh, is correct that is coming across. What is your take on it? I didn't get the question. I'm really sorry. It's a long question that says that, uh, you know, people are uh, relying on mobile phones and uh, uh, not only on news channels and newspapers for information, a lot of content consumed via videos and write-ups posted on social media are, is being consumed, especially during this time. So people are using the news channels to verify whether these information that they are coming across is correct. So I think uh, Deepshika wants to know that how are news channels uh, helping in, you know, uh, letting the audience know that whether a particular news being circulated on social media is right. correct or not correct. I, yeah, I, I got it. It's it's the same similar thing with Rajesh has told you just now that uh, the viral news or the viral messages which is are up on various social platforms, it could be anything from WhatsApp to Facebook to Twitter to anything. We have a show called Satsaika Sensei. It's a it's a fact checker. It's a fact checker and whatever is viral on TV or, or, or on, on social media, we, our team, our reporters, our correspondents go out, reach out to them, verify them by the authentic authorities and let them know, let them know our viewers that whatever you are watching or consuming is right or not, is a fake item or is a genuine item. That's what we are doing it. And we are getting very good viewership also for the same show. 8.30 in the morning and we got this repeat at 12.30 in the afternoon. And we have a weekly show also on this. Uh, it's 8.30 on Saturdays and Sundays. Yeah. yeah. We we are doing this. It's it's a good viewership show. This shows that people has interest now. 
they want to know what is right what is wrong whatever they are receiving on their whatsapp is right or not as a as a channel as a responsible channel media house that's our duty to educate to to make them learn what is right or what is not we are trying our best to do that and that's 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 the show is called sachai ka sensex right uh, we have um, another viewer who's asking shrinath sakshi is asking if any desk uh, journalist turns out to be corona positive what will be the position of the newsroom i think uh, uh, shrinath wants to understand that you know what is the backup plan that newsrooms have if a journalist falls sick in the newsroom yeah we had made a backup plan uh, if something happens in the newsroom we had the backup plan we have a studio ready in our uh, the in chandigarh and we can in 4 hours we can ship there we had the entire backup plan meanwhile it takes 6 hours to re-sanitize the uh, newsroom and the studio and we could be back on air in 6 hours from this place also great um so you know there is somebody who's also asking about the recent outbreak of uh, the pandemic among journalists in bombay um what what have you done to ensure uh, your journalists are safe which is what you have already answered is there anything else that you'd want to add in terms of you know ensuring that the reporters who are there out on the field the camera persons they are all safe we try like i told yeah rajesh bolo please Ah, no, no, bolo, bolo. We, no, no. We have given the PPE kits to our people, mask. We have made it mandatory that no reporter will go on air without mask on, on it. We do not take any PTCs, no live coverage without mask. Plus, as I told you, we we have made a team of a cameraman and reporter who work together. There is no change in the team. and uh, what else sumit you can add something if we yeah are 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 the are cars the cabs are sanitized regularly the driver the camera person and the reporter there's a team they are moving together and those who are going on in the field reporting they are not coming to the building the main premises they are staying out they, structurally it is a two team indoor team and outdoor team outdoor team doesn't come to indoor the indoor team doesn't go to outdoors it's like this there is no there is no mixation of the two teams it's basically we are taking all the necessary precautions that anybody who is going out reporting especially the reporters and the vjs they should not get affected with this covid they have all the gloves pp kits the face masks the shoes all the all the three person including the driver and the cab that's 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 what we are trying our best to do that in office also if somebody visits our office visitors first thing are not in, allowed inside the premises it's only the employees who are working here they only allowed here in, in in the building and those who came in they have to sanitize their hands there are there are there is a special provision of uh, you put a special tap on the main gate where they can wash their hands face then they enter then there is sanitizer we have sanitizers in almost all the desk throughout the newsroom so that nobody nobody it is basically as basically more of a mind game the people Absolutely. should feel that they are secure and they are working in a secure atmosphere that's what the abb newsroom is trying to evolve in some our uh, uh, inside the office uh we have another question from uh Deep Shikha Ghosh was saying, "If we are saying that digital platforms are the future, at least for the coming months, what is the future of technicians who are essential only for ground reporting?" I think that's a very interesting question. Uh, yes, if you'd like to take that, please come again. Sorry. Um, Deep Shikha says that if we are saying that digital platforms are the future, at least for the coming months. what is the future of technicians who are essential for a ground reporting hmm rajni ji ah camera person specifically camera person who are essential as we told you it's the same for the 
reporters and for the technicians, we are following the same pattern. Right. So th there is no change. They are equally important for us. So the what we precautions we are taking for our reporter, we are taking for the technician also. Right. Right. So uh, coming to change, you know, uh, I was talking to a lot of. Um, people who run uh, newspapers offices you know and they were saying that uh, post covid uh, reporting and running the newspaper business will not be the same as it was before uh, covid so you know there are some changes that uh, at least uh, the newspaper industry uh, will be permanent after covid so is there anything about um, broadcasters as well you know any change that you have taken to will that be uh, adopted on a more permanent basis post uh, the lockdown rules are relaxed we haven't thought about that as of now, but we'll see how things move, how things are, and we'll take it as we go along. Right now, the uh, right now the issue is that we should be safe, and the team which is working should continue to work the way we were working earlier. So we'll see how what changes to be done in a, in times to come. Absolutely. Uh, so, Rajneesh and Sumit, I would request each one of you to sum it up for us that you know how the uh, dynamics of uh, newsrooms have changed during this crisis time. How is it different for you guys, you know, functioning on a normal day and during this time of the pandemic? Rajneesh, up to you. I'll only say that consumers want more news from news channels. So, and we have stepped up our understanding for the, the need of the hour and we have added a lot of new programming. We'll continue to do that. We'll get a lot of experts from medical field and we'll continue to aim to guide our viewers that we are just not just a news channel, but we'll give you entire information. Absolutely. Yeah. Over to you, Sum Sumit. Yes, just last line, uh, last two lines, that's right. Uh, jo office mein kaam karte the, wo to kar hi rahe hai. Ab ghar ka kaam bhi karna padh raha hai. Aur uske baad office ka kaam bhi karna padh raha hai. That's true. That's true. Kaam badh gaya hai, lekin maza aa raha hai. Bahut challenging time hai. Kabhi socha nahi tha. It's really a tough, tough, very tough time for all of us. And though we are not the frontliners, we are stay, staying in newsrooms. But yes, we are not less than any frontliners because we Absolutely. know our responsibility is too, too much. We can't flash a wrong flash. At this time, so a huge pressure, a huge uh, timelines matching, and uh, yes, we are we are trying our best to 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 address our viewers' need and their demands. Thank you. That was such an interesting and insightful chat with both of you. Thank you so much for joining, and uh, we yeah. would request our uh, audience to keep tweeting about uh, the same. And if you have more questions, keep. Uh, Asking, keep tweeting. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thank, you, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you.